Hey guys, welcome back. Our last line of responsibility that we're gonna talk about is we're gonna combine C and D together. So we want to be at least in a level C or D. So I'll start with C. C stands for cooperation or conformity, which means you're gonna do the same thing as other people. So it's important, again, to remind, refresh your memory that we're not living in anarchy and we're not living in bossing bullying in our classroom because we cannot learn in those environments. Cooperation simply means that you're listening, you do what's expected, you comply, you're considerate, and you are taking it upon yourself to do the right thing. In democracy, you show kindness to others, you're self-reliant, you do good because it's the right thing to do, and you develop self-discipline, meaning someone doesn't have to tell you to do something, you take it upon yourself to do it. So these are very similar. The difference between these two levels is with C, you still have an external motivator, meaning you feel like, I'm gonna do it because I'm going to get, maybe you're gonna do the assignment because you wanna have an A, which is still a great motivator, but you're using that external factor to push yourself versus I'm gonna do the assignment because I wanna learn the content. So again, it's okay to live in either of these and you're gonna fluctuate throughout the day. But with democracy, with level D, you are using internal motivation. You are doing the right thing because you are internally rewarded knowing this is the right thing to do. So for instance, if you were to walk into the classroom and let's say there's a, a chair tipped over and you walk in and I, and you kind of sit down, do your own thing, and let's say I was like, hey, can you please help me flip that chair over, and you get up and you go and do it. That's cooperation, you're being cooperative, you're being respectful, so which is great. Let's say you walked into the classroom, you saw the chair tipped over, you took it upon yourself to f turn the chair back upright without me having to tell you. So this would be the, di the difference between these two. But again, as long as you're living in cooperation in the classroom, then things will be smooth sailing. Living in level C and D can also look like coming to class prepared. So you might come to class and I have to remind you, go ahead, get your materials out and that's fine. And then you go ahead and you cooperate and you get your materials out. But if you're living in level D, you come to class with all your materials ready and you don't even need the teachers to tell you to get your stuff out. So again, as long as you're cooperating or going above and beyond and doing it without someone telling you to do it, you are being a respectful student, which is so important in order for all of us to learn in the classroom. All right, you guys, so remember, it's so important to live above that line living in C and D. Don't live in anarchy, which is just crazy. You're not following any of the rules. Don't live in bossing bullying because being rude is not going to get you anywhere either. And it's not going to help anyone learn. So at least co cooperate or go above and beyond. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.